Why wasn't Mrs. Capwell sequestered with the rest of the witnesses? I'm sure that Victoria will be here at any minute. Why don't you call your co-counsel, counselor? Yes. If you intend by this ploy to be allowed to cross-examine your own wife, I'm not falling for it. Thank you. I'm embarrassed to say I don't know where Ms. Wainwright is. <sighs> Ten minute recess. The last one I intend to grant in this trial. Put on an APB for your wayward women. No, no, no. Excuse me, no fraternizing with the defendant. What, you got amnesia or something? Have you forgotten your orders? Where the hell have you been? I said I was sorry. Keith was ready to put out a warrant on you. Look, this is very difficult for me. You should understand that. It's only difficult because you're making it difficult. What you know about this case wouldn't fit in a thimble. Really? What about me and Cruz? What about the baby? Keith won't dredge that up, Victoria. He knows nothing about it. Keith wants to destroy me. You should know that, Mason. Victoria, you're overreacting to this. I'm not going to let him badger you. Just try to relax. Try to stick to yes or no answers, will you? All right, all right. I'm sorry. What happened? Well, I managed to buy us another ten minutes. What did you find out? Victoria, would you wait inside? I'll be in in a minute. Fine. Fine. Did you find the woman with the veil? Yes. Brava. Who is she and can she help us? Maybe. And maybe not. Hey, Mr. Capwell? Are you ready? Uh, we better get inside. You knew him a little bit better than I, uh, didn't you? Yeah, we, we had a relationship, yes. Which ended when the bright lights drew you to Hollywood. Is that sort of the way you tell it in? Yeah, that's, that's the way it happened. So, <clears throat> a little over a year ago when you came to Santa Barbara, you saw that he was in love with someone else, right? Uh, he seemed to be, yes. I beg your pardon. Uh, he was. He was, and I, I was very happy for, for Cruz and for Eden. Was happy? Well, uh, what form did your relationship take to Cruz then? Uh, we were friends. Had your feelings changed? My feelings were that we were friends. Uh, but you wanted to be more, didn't you? Watch him. What's he trying to do? No! Well, no. I have here uh, statements Thank you. of uh, two employees. <laughs> The Orient Express saying that you and Eden Capel argued publicly more than once. She even gave instructions to have you barred from the premises. Objection! Hearsay. This line of questioning is irrelevant. Sustained. Your Honor, <laughs> I'm trying to show that the witness's experience offers a parallel. I believe that the defendant's behavior towards Victoria Capel will shed light on his actions towards the deceased. That... All right, Mr. Timmons. I'll reserve my ruling until I see where you're going with this. State your question, please. Isn't it true, Mrs. Capwell, that the intense rivalry between you and Eden Capwell forced Cruz Castillo to ask you to leave town? Um, it, it, was, it was an awkward situation. Awkward? awkward situation, yes. In an awkward situation? They separated because of it. And he started virtually nothing to get you out of the way, the same way he did with Elaine and Nicholas. Isn't that true? All the rules. Look, I was no threat to Cruz at all. I, to, to either one of them. Well, let's go back to those long days and nights when a storm forced you and Cruz Castillo to land on one of the Channel Islands and take shelter in a lighthouse. What happened then? You were alone, desperate. You cost him the love of his life. Spit it out. He raped you, didn't he? Objection! No! No, he didn't. No! 